Nursing antibiotics seem to be a little bit scary to take on, so we'll do a basic hit list of five common classes that you'll need to know for your exams, clinicals, and even the NCLEX. Tetracyclines. Tetracyclines end in the suffix cycline. Indications for these medications include things such as infectious diseases, acne, and periodontal disease. A commonly tested education point to remember here is that they should not be given with milk, antacids, or iron. Important things to note are that tetracyclines cause bone deformities and teeth discoloration. For this reason, they shouldn't be administered to children under the age of 8 or to pregnant women. Boom! Easy! Aminoglycosides Aminoglycosides end in the suffix mycin. Although there are other drugs that end in mycin, you can remember the aminoglycosides by the mnemonic NATS, standing for gentamicin, neomycin, amicacin, the tricky outlier, tobramycin, and finally streptomycin. Remember, we love antibiotic mnemonics. These drugs have the potential to have toxic side effects, such as nephrotoxicity and ototoxicity. If a patient who is taking an aminoglycoside is complaining of ringing of the ears, it should clue you in as a red flag. Because of the toxic side effects, it is important to measure peak and trough levels for patients taking these drugs. Woo! Got that one down. Macrolides are broad-spectrum antibiotics that end in thromycin. To help you remember the macrolide antibiotics, just remember the acronym ACE for azithromycin, clarithromycin, and erythromycin. Another mnemonic for antibiotics, sure! These drugs are commonly given for respiratory infections and are often used as an alternative for patients with a penicillin allergy. As a warning here, these drugs can cause dysrhythmias from QT segment prolongation, and they also have an association with C. difficile overgrowth, especially clarithromycin. When these drugs are indicated for an IV infusion, remember that the medication should be diluted and administered slowly to prevent the common problem of thrombophlebitis. Next up, cephalosporins. Instead of having a common ending, the drugs in this class have a prefix, which is ceph, with the exception of cephalexin. The important exam point to remember here is that cephalosporins are the drugs that we give when a patient is allergic to penicillin. Educate the patient to especially avoid alcohol with these drugs, as their concurrent use can induce a state of alcohol intolerance. Easy enough, right? Last but not least, our dear friends, are the fluoroquinolone antibiotics. These drugs end in floxacin. Important commonly tested teaching points? Avoid taking these drugs with milk or antacids. Notably, GI distress is a common side effect with these drugs. Additionally, another commonly tested fact here, although rare, is that fluoroquinolones can cause Achilles tendon rupture. With this in mind, if the patient complains of tendon pain, inflammation, or swelling, the medication should be immediately discontinued. So there you have a quick hit list of important nursing antibiotics and some little tidbits to know. Need an easier way to help remember antibiotics? Be sure to check out these and tons more inside Picmonic.